ladies and gentlemen, this is where I turn it up a notch. Oh, no. Oh, no. I've got a list of topics, but I've decided to move away from those list of topics. <laughs> oh, no. He's making it hard. Oh, no. Okay. Um, oh, you're making me get all clammy now. <laughs> okay. The tit- In my hands. <laughs> the title of your topic is... Okay. My boyfriend won't marry me because he's decided I've got a round face. <laughs> Good morning and welcome to your Friday this morning show. Joined by myself and Phil. Yes, how are you doing, Phil? You well? Good. Right, we're cutting to it because we have a jam-packed show for you this afternoon. And we're going to be talking to a lady called Clear Thorpes, who uh, basically, the poor woman, she's, uh, she's her boyfriend won't marry her because apparently it's due to her round face. Now, this isn't because she eats lots of donuts, but we will be talking to Paul Clear Thorpes to find out. Nice! <laughs> I, love, I love how you've referenced yourself as Clear Thorpes. Yeah, I was actually called that by my history teacher in school. It's been alleged that spinning gives you diarrhoea. <laughs> Oh, hello. We're going to be talking about the very interesting subject of spinning giving you diarrhoea. Yes, you heard me correctly. The exercise that gives you diarrhoea. Who'd have thought it? Today on the show, Pro Row is on the air and she's going to be talking about how she went spinning and a very unfortunate accident happened to her. And we'll be asking her how she felt after that fateful day. Ole! Uh, I'd just like to clarify, I've never actually diarrheaed in a spinning class. <laughs> okay, your subject is how picky eating has affected your love life. Okay. Yes. Hi, it's Tall Tim here in for, uh, of course, uh, Round Face and Witch Lookalike. Uh, yes, today uh, we're talking about the extreme subject that is people who are picky eaters, does it affect their love life? Well, I've got to say, as a picky eater myself, who rarely eats, to be honest, it doesn't affect my love life because I haven't had one since 2009. <laughs> I just tend to avoid them because either girls are just too attractive and too young or they're really old and ugly. Anyway, we'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing but this. This is Rather Good Radio.